All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got up and I'm finally doing this video that you all have asked for. I got my mom here. I needed someone uh, to shoot this for me because I want to show you all, like everything I go through in the morning. Everyone wants to see my morning routine. So this is how I sleep. I'll show you another video about this probably, but I, uh, you know, hug a pillow so that my arms aren't bent in a weird way. I let one lay here, I have one here. And then I also have one in between my legs so that my knees and ankles don't touch. Yeah, I'm very spastic right now because they haven't moved all night, but here we go, guys. This is what I gotta do every morning. You wanted to see it, and here it is. It's kind of personal and I needed someone to shoot it, so that's why it took me so long. But yes, your most violent spasms are in the morning. They're gonna go in every direction and throw my body everywhere. Uh, and basically the explanation is, um, you know, I haven't moved all night. I do uh, switch sides every time I wake up, four or five times a night, and I let them, I do this little stretch in between switching because otherwise, It'll make sleeping very uncomfortable. It's kind of like you'll have phantom pains or phantom feelings and uh, it's just discomforting. All right, so I try to do one at a time. I'll hold one while one goes, see how it's straight. Normally my knee, my ankle, you'll hear the cracks. I don't hear any this morning. So one at a time, and I don't sleep with pants on normally. I did this for you guys. <laughs> All right, and then, and then sometimes I'll get the pelvic thrust. It'll be, you know, just like me throwing my hips up, but obviously I can't because I'm at a T. There we go, a T five complete. So I know once I'm not medicated and wake up, those happen a lot. Sometimes those pelvic thrusts last for 30, 40 minutes, an hour sometimes. All right, guys, and then I will try to sit up. See, they're fighting me. Ugh. Yep, your abs fight you, your stomach muscles fight you, every muscle that you don't have control over will fight you all the time, unless you're medicated. It's another personal aspect about this life, all you guys to see me in my chair, sitting, happy, smiling, oh it must not be that bad, but you really don't know half of the things I have to do before I get to that comfortable, happy state. But all right guys, um, if you have any questions about my spasms or uh, other videos that you wanna see, just give me a comment, talk to me in the comments. This takes actually a, a little bit longer, but I don't want this video to be too long. Ah. I also like to do that. It kind of sets them off, just like wiggle and throw your hips around and it sets off spasms. You kind of learn yourself, you kind of learn your spasms, how to set them off, how to calm them down. There we go, there's the, the pelvic thrust. This one normally goes on for a minute until I kind of just want to get out of bed and fight it. And also I have a stander over there, mom, you can show them the stander. I normally stand throughout the day. Okay. I normally stand also that, you know, cracks my joints, puts weight on my bones, gives my legs also another stretch. But um, we definitely can't neglect our legs. I have to, you know, take care of them, lotion them, cut the nails, make sure my toenails aren't ingrown causing any pain, any problems. <sighs> All right, but 
yeah, I try to just do one at a time until they're pretty much worn out. Because, you know, this is just pretty much the body reacting to me not moving them. They get, I kind of call it antsy, and they just want to move a lot. And I'm giving them that opportunity, letting them wear themselves out so that I can put my shoes on and get in my chair. Okay. Ugh. Throw these shoes on real quick, get in my chair. And then, you know, bathroom, shower, medicating. There's a lot that goes into this, guys. More than meets the eye. So anytime you meet a paraplegic, be kind. Don't expect it, it to be easy for them. We're all unique. We're all dealing with our own problems. Sometimes we just don't choose to share them with everybody. All right, now once I get in my chair, they kind of get to another set of spasms. I don't want to fall. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm going to fall if I don't set up for this one. So the grab my... Stop, stop. Sometimes I get off on the side, sometimes I get off on the bottom. Kind of started like getting off on the bottom of the bed. Go ahead, go. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh. All right, guys. Well, this is what you wanted to see. You know, this isn't all of them. Sometimes they don't go straight out. They bend up to my face. Sometimes they push and twist. They do whatever, guys. Can't move or feel below the chest, but everything below does still move, just not under my control anymore. Okay. So, try to get them in the foot plate. And then they're gonna be very bouncy for the first little bit. They're not gonna to wanna to stay. So what I tend to do, I get my wheels facing forward so I can lean forward and not fall. Put some pressure on them uh, and line them up. <clears throat> get my Pants all right, make sure that these tongues aren't digging into my ankles. Make sure my toes are good in there. <sighs> See, even with all this pressure, me pushing against it, they still wanna fight sometimes. <sighs> and the worst part about this, what the average person doesn't understand, oh, they're just shaking. I can't move when they shake. See, they just fell off the foot plate, they're dragging on the ground. And now as they keep doing it, and as if I were to roll around and hit bumps and stuff, look, it just drags, I have to stop, I have to pull it up. So that's why spasms make things harder. Not only it makes it harder to transfer, but it makes it harder to just move, which is already hard, because I'm using my arms, and then I have to use my arms to fix and control that. Well, all right, guys, I think that is enough for one video. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what else you want to see. There's my morning routine. On to the next one.